Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor at Johnson County Community College. In this short screencast, we're going to continue our discussion of prefix and postfix operators in JavaScript. And in this case, I'm just going to work directly in the console, given I do not want to save my code in an external file. And to get the console open, we right-click the web page, click Inspect, and then click the Console tab. And that's where we can run JavaScript in the JavaScript engine that's embedded in a browser. Let's declare a variable i and let's set it equal to zero. Now that returns undefined and the reason for that is every time the JavaScript engine evaluates a JavaScript external file or even here in the console, it goes through and it finds the new variable names and sets them equal to undefined as a first pass. On the second pass, that statement is actually executed. So now when I check i, it is equal to zero, but on the first pass through the code, the variable is simply initiated and set to undefined. But what happens when we increment i? If I plus plus i, and we know the plus plus operator can be used as a prefix before the i or as a postfix after the i, what happens to the value of i? Well, now i has been incremented to one. And if I check i again, it's 1. Let me clear my console and do i++. In this case, I'm using i as a postfix operator. And let's see what that returns. That returns 1, but now when I check i, it's actually 2. So the difference between the prefix and the postfix operators is when the variable gets incremented. For setting another variable equal to i, and again, j on the first pass is undefined, but now when I check j, it should equal 2 because i's last value is 2. We see that j is equal to 2. But if I set j equal to plus plus i, what will that return? The question is, will the increment operator happen before or after the assignment? Let's find out. In the prefix world, the plus plus operator happens before the assignment operator. In other words, i is incremented by 1 before it is assigned to j. So now i is equal to 3 and j is equal to 3. But what happens when I set j equal to i plus plus? Does this i increment then get assigned to j? No. In this case, i is assigned to j and then incremented, and if I check i, I'm equal to 4. So if you really want to get into the weeds on the order of operations in JavaScript, type it into Google and then go to the developer.mozilla.org website and click that link and you'll find a table that shows the specific order of operation and the precedence from highest to lowest for every single operator available in JavaScript and many of these will have links that you can then find out more information about that particular operator. So in summary, prefix and postfix operators, I've set i and j back to zero, and what we need to know is that when we use the postfix operator, the assignment is done first, then the variable is incremented. So in this case, j is going to end up being zero, and i is going to end up being one. And let's prove that by hitting enter, and checking our j and checking our i. I'm going to set i back to 0 and try it with a prefix operator. j is assigned to plus plus i, and in this case the increment is going to be done before the assignment to j. So at this point j is going to be equal to 1 and i is going to be equal to 1. Thank you.